Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to crochet these soft and cozy mittens. I'll show you size for adult. It's pretty easy pattern. So if you are beginner, don't worry. I'll show you step by step how to make it. And it's exactly the same pattern for left hand and right hand as well. So let's try it with me. For this project you will need chenille yarn. I picked Dolphin Baby from Himalaya brand. And you will need also fluffy yarn. It's called Happy from Yarn Art. And pair of scissors, stitch marker, yarn needle and 5mm crochet hook. We are going to start from the uh, finger part of mitten and start with magic ring. If you don't know how to make magic ring, just click the link above the right corner or in description of this video. Now, chain one because we will make single crochets and then seven single crochets into the magic ring and we will count the chain on start like single crochet so at the end we will have eight single crochets so if you have done seven single crochets in magic ring, just pull the starting tail and tighten the magic ring. Then we have to join the round with a slip stitch and make a slip stitch in the first stitch. If you are not sure, just count from the right side to the left side and make slip stitch in the seventh stitch. <laughs> And we will work in a round, so you need stitch marker and mark the start. Then we will increase and increase every stitch. So make two single crochets in every stitch all the way around. And I'm hiding the starting tail behind my work because it's more comfortable for me less work um, at the end of the project so try it, it's really uh, easier <laughs> so make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around and at the end of this round you should have 16 stitches In the next round we will increase every second stitch so make two single crochets into the first stitch this is one and two single crochets into the same stitch in the next stitch make just one single crochet in next stitch make two single crochets again so make two single crochets in every second stitch all the way around and at the end of this round you should have 24 stitches okay and now make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and to make 12 rounds together so we will not increase we will not decrease if you have smaller hand um, not too long fingers like me 
make 11, uh, 11 rounds. It's up to you. You can measure your hand uh, or try it on your hand. But I have, I think I have bigger, bigger hand and longer finger. So make 10 to 12 rounds of single crochets. And the length of my hand is 19, 19 centimeters. So I'm going to make 12 rounds of single crochets. So you can pause the video and then meet me back again. Okay, now you can see we need to increase a little because we are at the, at the thumb. So now make two single crochets in the first stitch. So we need to increase just once in this round. And then make two, uh, two rounds of single crochets. So just one single crochet in each stitch. So in this round we increase just once and then two rounds without changes. Okay, this is how it looks like. And now let's make the hole for dump. You can make a slip stitch or you can just you can just uh, continue, but I'm going to make a slip stitch and then make seven chains so chain seven one two three four five six and seven and now insert your hook into the fifth chain or fifth stitch Oops. Okay, I'm going to do it again. So insert your hook into the fifth stitch and make one single crochet. And we have the hole for your thumb. And then make just one single crochet in each stitch uh, to the end of this round so to the to the other side of the hole Okay, now make one single crochet over here, one single crochet over here and then we will make single crochets in the chain, in this chain and you will make one single crochet in each chain. So you should make uh, single crochet six times in this part.
and then make one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this round and make four rounds of single crochets Okay, now we need to make a thumb and this part and you can see we need to decrease and at the end of the last round you should have 20, uh, 26 stitches I'm sorry 27 stitches mm -hmm. 27 stitches and now we are going to decrease and decrease on start so make two single crochets together and then make one single crochet in the next 11 stitches And now decrease again. So make two single crochets together. So we have decreased two times in this round. Then make just one single crochet in each stitch to the end. Then make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds together. Now you have to finish the round, so make a slip stitch and take the fluffy yarn. You can cut the yarn and take the fluffy yarn and we will crochet with the double yarn. It's because it's better work, uh, it's because it will look nicer, so it's really better so don't use just one just single yarn and if you don't have happy from yarn art you can use mink from yarn art so pull the yarn through it's like chain one and then make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and I'm going to hide all tails behind my work, like always. And work with this fluffy yarn slowly, be patient because it's not easy to uh, easy work with this fluffy yarn, but it's not hard. You must be just patient. Because stitches are not visible, well, continue working one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and at the end of this round meet me back again so you can pause the video. And join the round with a slip stitch. I'm going to make a slip stitch in the first stitch. And next round, start with chain one and then make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and 
finish the round uh, again with the slip stitch in the first stitch so how can you see we are not working in round so you always have to make chain one on start every round and slip stitch uh, at the end of every round and to make five rounds together Okay, this is how it looks like. You will just hide both tails inside the mitten. And now let's make the thumb. Take the chenille yarn in the same color. And pull the yarn through somewhere here. And then make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and at the end of the round you should have 13 stitches and I'm hiding the tail starting tail behind my work like always because it's easier We are nearly at the end, so at the end join the round with a slip stitch and then we will not uh, make chain one and slip stitch at the end of each round, we will work in round. So then continue uh, working one single crochet in the next five stitches so now we have to join the round with the slip stitch and then make one single crochet in each or uh, in next five stitches. I can cut this tail because it's already hidden and now make one single crochet in the next five stitches. And then we will decrease. So make two single crochets together. And then make one single crochet in the next six stitches. So in this round we have decreased just once.
Okay, we are at the end of the round and make two rounds of single crochets. So make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds together. And if you want, mark the start, use stitch marker and mark the start because we are working in a round. In next round we will in we will decrease I'm sorry we will decrease again on the same uh, space so make one single crochet in the next four or five stitches and then make two single crochets together so in this round we have to decrease uh, once once again and then make one single crochet in the next all stitches to the end. Then make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds together. So you will make two rounds of single crochets without change, without decrease. And now we have to decrease. We will decrease every stitch. So make two single crochets and then again two single crochets so you will make uh, two single crochets together about about seven times so you will make two single crochets together till the end till the hole is closed but uh, you should have uh, left three three stitches three stitches left and then we will use a uh, yarn needle for better look. Okay, so uh, I have decreased seven times. This last decreasing was too much. And now you have three uh, stitches left. So just cut the yarn and use yarn needle for, uh, for closing the hole. So just sew it and close the hole of the thumb. And that's all. You will make exactly the same also the second mitten and you have done your mittens. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day and see you next time.